So uh, we added, we decided to add some aftermarket accessories. It's a super flow exhaust. Uh, Dude, I can't see anything. It just doesn't sound normal. We might have a problem. What's up, What's up guys? guys? This, this is, is Team Hurricane, and, and this, this is, is the 24 hour Glen Helen, Glen Helen endurance, endurance race. race. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so here's the deal. Charles and I scored. We're gonna be able to swap parts if we need to, and we got the best bike. Tell them about that bike, Charles. Okay, we thought we got a good bike at first, but this one's even better because not only is this one super clean, but it came with all this junk. So sprockets, we've got forks this came with forks so this guy had this bike for like 10 years so he had all this spare stuff uh we got bearings so literally everything that we were missing from this other bike was in this box from this bike so we scored because it was missing fork guards this dude had an extra set like charles said fork seals we needed fork seals for that bike this dude had an extra set so uh so we're not doing much today other than just slapping on a few parts checking out the carburetors and then we're just gonna go ride them. See what we think, so yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. There it is, guys. Are the spoke wraps staying? Yeah, I, I think we'll keep the spoke wraps. Do we have some kind of memorabilia with it, you know? We need a way to tell these bikes apart. So it's like, you know, when you have twins, you like mark their arm with a Sharpie or something. You got H1, H2. You got to be able to tell them apart, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get this stud out by a little using a little heat. Success. What's up guys, Wes here with Rocky Mountain. I'm just joking, it's actually me, Chase, but I'm stealing Wes's gas, <laughs> don't tell him. Here we go. Safety siphon, by the way, just as a spotlight, these things are rad. Okay. I don't have any gas for my bike, so uh, doing the next best thing here. Here it comes, here it comes. Ooh, she's flowing. Yeah, I gotta do some work on my bike later, I didn't have any gas, so uh, hopefully they won't notice. Got my gas. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Team Rad Dragon checking in. Uh, so I'm working on my YZ250. Eric is not here right now. Um, so my bike, as you guys know, didn't need a lot. I just put a new air filter in. We took the carburetor off. We cleaned that out really, really well. Eric had an ultrasonic, so we took it to his house and cleaned it all out. Um, we're leaving the jetting that's in there right now just to make sure it runs good, and then we'll swap the jetting out when we get down to sea level. Put the pipe back on. Uh, yeah, put finishing putting the tank back on I'll put the seat on and then I'm just gonna fire this puppy up and see if it runs um, Update Eric bought like a KTM 620 didn't know those existed and uh, Eric's my teammate, but I almost feel like we're being sabotaged here because it's a left kickstart. Okay Wait, do you want me to do the compression for you? Yeah, you do the compression. I can't read it. Well, feel it Wait till it stops and Then come back up there you go, now come back. Okay, this is good. It's gotta be a real good. <laughs> anyway, I don't wanna have to ride the 620, so we're gonna figure out lighting situation for this, but 
we've got a plan. But anyway, I'm gonna put it back together, we'll check back in a sec and see if she's running good. We don't need to get too scientific putting the seat back on for now. It just needs to be on. Okay, she's in neutral. Let's get that choke on. Phase two, we're going to the parking lot. not what I was hoping for. It's like, it'll hit the power band, but then like once you get there, like in the meat of the, or the middle of the power curve, it just like, just stalls out. Like it doesn't want to go any farther. It just sits in like, and then, but it doesn't keep going. Uh, so you might have a stripped out idle. <laughs> How does that seize up? I've never seen a seized up idle screw. Do we sell that idle screw on the OE diagram? I didn't look. Maybe you should look and then we'll just take that one out. We'll just jack this one up with some pliers. Well, what, if, what if the threads for that thing are all jacked up and we can't put the other one in? Oh, there's always a way. There's always a way. Alright. Yeah, so Ch Chase went and looked for parts, but. He told me earlier today he didn't need my help. He, he had this under control, but we're looking at it while he's gone. Pipes, so, pipes not connected. So this mount's not connected. He, this one's not connected. I think this one's broken off. Well, here's the mount right here with the hole in it. Well, here's the master cylinder. It's not connected. Or uh, the reservoir with a broken mount. The mount on the frame's broken off. Huh. So that's dangling. I think he needs more help than he's. I, Letting on. I love how he gets so excited that he, he killed it. He got a great deal, but he doesn't inspect things very well. <laughs> so are you going to help him or no? If I have to, but I don't really want to because I'm out. I don't get a race, so what's the point? Uh, I'm out because I got my old man Kane here. I got a compound fracture to the femur two months ago. So riding the dirt bike in the mountains, things got a little rough. I tried turning the bike around and kind of fell off a ledge. So I won't be doing the 24 hour test. They're kind of on their own. I may show up to California. You're, you obviously can't. You're I can't. I got a baby on the way, so, so I'm out. I may go be pit crew, but yeah, what do we got, three weeks to go? Yeah. Three yeah. weeks and they're supposed to have these already to race for 24 hours. And he's leaving on a hunting trip for a week and, and a half. And he's going on a hunting trip for a week and a half, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be out in California for the pit crew or not, but certainly won't be riding. track is looking super good so we thought it was a good opportunity to bring the old bikes out here give them a shakedown and see what we got to do for Glen Helen. 30 year old men, 30 year old bikes, we're gonna go rip them and uh, give them a little shakedown see if they hold together. We're about to go out there and kick some new bike tiny. Kick some new bike butt. Hey guys we're about to go out there and kick some new bikes asses on the track with these old bikes. Have you ever seen an old bike kick a new bike's ass? Well, you're about to you're about to see it. Colton Haker. <laughs> Where's he at? Yeah, 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 yeah.
Charles, I already have some Yama thumb. 15 minutes in, we got Yama thumb. Bikes aren't letting us down. Perfect. Not disappointing. <laughs> for you guys so the yz250 running wise we're close we tried to adjust the idle screw unfortunately the idle screw is like seized in the car so we can't get it out so we have to figure that out put a new one in there i didn't realize it at first but these guys got a little janky word i like to use as far as uh, the pipe and whatnot so there's a couple tabs for the pipe because this pipe that's on here was actually not meant to work on this bike they just kind of made it work so we're welding a couple tabs um, to make them a little bit stronger and just to reinforce it. The reservoir for the rear brake, um, the tab for that had actually broken off inside here, so it was just kind of wobbling around. So we're welding a new tab for that. And then rear brake caliper. So we actually had to do a helicoil to get this pin to actually thread in there so it's not gonna be as loose. And yeah, really aside from that, I just got to put everything together, we'll get the, the exhaust put back on, get that tab figured out. She's coming along, have faith. We leave, what, today's Monday, we leave next Thursday. And uh, yeah, should be good. There we go. I'd like to thank my sponsors. Cole Tamadak is here. Oh, what were they talking about it was hard? Did you see how easy that rotated? Instantly? It just took a real mechanic to get the job done. Slight sarcasm in there. like bottoming out. I don't know what I'm bottoming yeah. out on, but I don't know if it's threads or... Yeah, let's, uh, let's figure out that carp. I don't know why I'm helping Chase out. Somehow he talked me into it, but uh, they couldn't get their bike running. And I do want to have some competition at the race. So we're getting it fixed up. They've got, they had a 30 pilot in there. 
and the air screw was like four and a half turns out, but stock is gonna be a 45, sorry, a 40, and one and a half turns out on the air screw. And then the main jet was a 310, should be a 350. So we're doing that, float height was a little off, and uh, I think that's it. But uh, yeah, hopefully the bike runs when we get this all together. They're having troubles, it wouldn't idle, and it's running kind of funky. One actually has one. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let, you can't film Charles. You can't film Charles working on my motorcycle. Why not? That's what's going on. Uh, I know. <laughs> we have uh, I am helping though. I just took the slide out. Creative and, uh, This is. We're we're learning things here. Learning that we were way too lean on pilot and main. I'm assuming these guys leaned it out big time because of the elevation, but uh, I'm trusting old Charles the mechanic over here. Yeah. You know, I'm so prepared with no bike stand. so long for this thing to warm up. I guess that's just a two-stroke thing that I'm not used to, but like. Sometimes it'll hit the power band, and then other times it's just like, like it just never gets there. about going over and trying a couple hill climbs or something. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, let's just get me uh, just ripping. Up, I just want to get through all the gears. Like, yeah. here, I'm, let me just go by hauling. Ready for 24 hours? I mean, it's just that like bottom to mid, but once you get up into the tall part, dude, it's good. You just gotta ride it a yeah, gear low. Yeah, you just gotta keep it a gear low and just keep it pinned. I'm not nervous at all. Our backup bike's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>